Hey guys, since it's been a little bit, I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick little tutorial tutorial video uh, for how to remove your mirror caps. Now what I'm doing is actually, and uh, excuse the wind, I'm actually replacing mine to black uh, because I'm going to actually get mine repainted. Uh, the first paint job was really shitty, so I'm going to uh, get these refinished glossy like they're supposed to be. Um, but anyway, first step you do is uh, take your mirrors, if they're power, fold the glass completely down. So push the glass down with your power, or if they're manual, just you know push the glass all the way down. That way you can get in behind the convex. Once you're behind the convex, get your fingers behind it. Try to use both hands on either side so you don't break that glass. It just pops right off of this little circle. All right, so that's real simple. It just pulls right off, pull it straight out. Don't pull it down at an angle, don't pull it up or sideways, pull it straight back or else you will break the clips. And when I say clips, this is what I'm talking about. Here's the convex piece. It's got these little clips, four per side, that hold it into that mirror. If you break that, um, any of those clips, you have a huge chance of the glass not going back on properly and actually falling back out of your mirror. And you're, you know, you're out glass and you're gonna have to find a new glass uh, somewhere. Anyway, afterwards, all you got to do is take a flat or a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and there's two screws. There's one here, there's one here. So you get your screwdriver and you go ahead and just remove these screws. So of course I've already pre-done that. So remove the screws, don't lose these because it's hard to find any um, screws that fit. And after you get that taken off, you can actually pull this housing slightly off. All right, so you pull that off, get your fingers up under there. There's little tabs on each side of this, and it just pops right off. Easy enough. So we're gonna take that, put that in there. We're gonna get our screwdriver back. It's better to do this with a flathead. Uh, but uh, once you want to get up under here, you're going to move this housing piece forward, get your screwdriver under there, and pop it off. Once you actually pop that off, you can remove that upper housing, or upper uh, mirror cap. That way you can just take them off to paint them, or to wrap them, or, or whatever you're wanting to do with them. In my case, all I'm doing is putting black ones on. So you use the reverse of that. And these only go on one way. And first you want to snap your housing back into place to make sure the housing shell is snapped back into place how it's supposed to be. And uh, just got to line up your tabs and then it snaps right into place. Same with the top. So we're going to go ahead and do the top. Grab that, beat it off the side of your truck, all right, then after you get that pot back on, go ahead and use your screwdriver, put your screws back into the bottom holes, and you are, you're good. You've just replaced your mirror caps or removed them or whatever it is you're trying to do. So simple as that, guys. So I hope that helped out with some questions. I get that question all the time. And um, so yeah, that's it. All you gotta do is put your convex glass back on and then the most pain in the ass part is readjusting them. So um, as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.